Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. World champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. Here's how Norway will begin the game. Well, it can be seen as a very defensive shape. But if they have good athletes in midfield, which they have, who are ready to break forward as soon as possession is won, they can still pose a big threat today. And now they get the ball rolling. Leal. Well, just seemed to lose control there. Couldn't keep it in. And now a corner. Played over. Well, no end product. It comes to nothing in the end. Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the greatest players of the current era, and you'd have to imagine, Stuart, he's going to have some sort of role to play in this one. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat, and when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. No problems for the keeper. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. This looks promising. Gonzalo Getsch. Ronaldo. Back with Cancelo. Well, the cross was acceptable, but no one there to thump at home. And over the touchline for what will be a Norway throw. Well, that's an interesting pass. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Holland. Ronaldo Silva distributing intelligently. Big opportunity. And it's come off the keeper. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Has eyes for goal. Oh, good work by the keeper. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And fine goalkeeping. And over it comes. Not all that convincing defensively. Ruben Neves. 
Those stats really do paint the picture. So many chances, but yet little end product. But surely the breakthrough's coming. Well, they need the ball once more. They know that full well. Perfect tackle. Ronaldo firing it towards goal. Well, the shot seemed like a good option, but goalkeeper's ball. Elianusi. Back to Haaland. Elianusi. Got to it easily, the keeper. Alert intervention. Will he play it in? Able to deal with the threat. Bruno Fernandes. Tremendous ball played through. Well, fantastic reflex action. Now sending it in. Great pressure to win the ball back. Neves. On to Silva. Putting his body on the line. Counter-attacking very much an option. Oh no, stopping him. Perfectly timed pass, able to get his body in the way. Leal. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Oh, he's left his marker for dead, and the keeper got there. Trying to deliver it accurately. Attending to his defensive chores. Bernardo Silva. Still alive. And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. Just look at this. Magnificent agility, perfect timing and great connection. What a goal that is. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. So, into the second half here, Portugal with the advantage, but absolutely no room for complacency. And space to exploit, maybe. Holland. Now you see. Clean challenge. Good thing from his point of view. And fed forwards. Ronaldo. Top class defending. Now can they counter clinically? Well, it fizzled out. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. And players waiting in the centre. Not messing around with that clearance. Well, spot on with that challenge. Ronaldo. Leal. And a little bit too much height on that one.
Holland. Holland. Can he finish? Keeper did his job to begin with. Good stop from the keeper. And he took a touch on the way. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Uh, good work from Portugal to win it back. The defender doing his job. Let's see about the delivery. Not away completely. Fernando Silva. Well, thumped clear. Firing it in. Terrific block. Well, making high pressing work for them here. Oh, it's in! They take the lead here. And just how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? see it again good run great strength and a composed finish under pressure that's a top class goal so on with the match 2-1 is the scoreline what's going to happen next Silva and Portugal moving the ball forward what can they do from here well trying to place it but without any great success well maybe went for the wrong technique if he'd have hit it with power may have got a better result that's a poor effort really 20 minutes to go in this one an important interception Alexander Surlot They couldn't maintain possession. Elianusi. It needs an accurate cross. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Elianusi. And now they need to be more clinical. Ruben Neves. On the ball, Rafael Leao. Bernardo Silva distributing intelligently. Determined defending. Effective looking pass. How can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? It's a weighted pass. A corner then. Keen to take it short here. He makes in the middle a very effective clearance. Can they take advantage? Well, that's going to go down as offside. Well, he couldn't quite release it quickly enough, and the flag went up. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Excellent defending. And support available. Holland. Body in the way. Silva. Not giving their opponents a moment's peace. Frederik Aursnes. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. 
textbook defending inside the box. Couldn't find a teammate. And they will make the change now. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Holland. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Nicely saved. Lovely weighted ball, they might be in. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe, now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions. And this is finally Portugal's time. Fully deserved. Best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.